All right, today we have a 10 gig network adapter sent to us uh, by TrendNet. TrendNet is a fairly large uh, vendor. You'll see a lot of their stuff at the upper end of home equipment and even as small business gear. Um, it's fairly popular. So this is the TEG 10 GECTX. So we've got a PCI Express adapter. Um, I'm actually fairly impressed just knowing that this adapter is currently retailing for 120 bucks. These are normally, or were normally up until a few years ago, several hundred dollars in the four to five hundred dollar price range for uh, older adapters like Intel's 550X. And that's before we even take into account this has a 10 gig port natively. A lot of the older adapters didn't have copper ports. You were forced to use fiber optic connections, which although perfectly functional it is an added cost for a lot of people. When you're talking having to buy a transceiver, having to buy and run fiber, the fact that this will use a existing run of Cat 5e or Cat 6 for 10 gig is actually pretty great. So on the back here we call out that we support jumbo frames, we're compatible with Windows, Windows Server, and Linux. Uh, looks like Mac OS gets left out there. Quite frankly, I think the current Mac Pro has 10 gig built in, so there wouldn't be a ton of call to install a card like this specifically. So it says we've got standard and low profile brackets. Let's go ahead and take a look at what's included. Lo and behold, there is a low profile bracket. We've got speed and activity markers. So we've got a couple of LEDs on the card itself. The card is packed in a little anti-static bag. And God, that is tiny. In fact, for comparison's sake, this is an older gigabit card. This isn't even 10 gig. This is a Broadcom dual port gigabit card that you can still buy today and you can pick these up, you know, used for 30 or 40 bucks typically. Um, you'd find these in Dell desktops and Dell servers. And this is a Mellanox 10 gig card that I have. At least I think that, yeah, this one's the Mellanox. And this card would have retailed for several times what this trend net does and would have forced fiber optic as its connection of choice. Now, fiber optic does have its advantages, especially for a large distance. However, these new uh, N-Base-T adapters, which is what these are technically called, allow you to use existing runs of Cat 5e and Cat 6. And as long as there's nothing particularly bad with the line, these will talk at 10 gigs up to 30 meters. And if there is something wrong, these will auto-negotiate 10 gig, 5 gig, 2.5 gig, and then just back down to bog standard gigabit based on the length of the run and the quality of the line. So that's fairly impressive that all of that's in here when this used to be really the only way you were getting 10 gigabit. So just looking at the physical card, that's fairly impressive. What else do we get? So we get a little registration slip, register your product for a chance to win a gift card. Um, yeah, I'll get right on that. A little safety notice booklet. Danger due to electricity. Don't electrocute yourself when you're installing it. Um, unplug your desktop when you install something like that. We still get an itty bitty 
driver CD. I know I still have an optical bay in my desktop for something like this, but I know a lot of people don't. Um, and honestly, I don't know why they would bother to include a little disc like this. Um, the drivers are going to be available on their website. And since this is an add-in card, the computer that it's going to be installed in is going to have an existing network connection, most likely with an internet link. Uh, I suppose in some odd one-off situation, you may only have this card and your existing network card has just failed in your desktop and you may need that driver CD, but that is not worth the number of discs they would have had to print to include in this. I guess that makes it a nice feature in an absolute worst case scenario. So we have our quick install guide and it actually applies to several adapters. So we have this one, the 10GE CTX. They have an SFP Plus mod uh, variant and that's good that they have an SFP plus variant that would be the same card uh, but set up for fiber optics instead so the apparently SFP module is currently out of stock or yeah, SFP model is currently out of stock on Amazon so I don't have a good price this is the model that you would typically use if you know you're going to go a thousand meters for your 10 gig link and then you would simply buy the appropriate plug-in modules from somewhere like fiber store or directly from treadnet and run your fiber optic link and there's a 2.5 g base t model which is going to be a more entry level option i do expect to see 2.5 G base T um, replace gigabit on built-in systems relatively soon. I believe the chipset for the new Z490 boards is going to support it natively, so that is a nice feature. And then we have a little readout on the LED indicators. If it's green, you've got 10 gigs. Amber is 5, 2.5, and 1. Off is 100 meg link. And they call, so that's only applies to this. They actually have a different LED indicator section for all three. Yeah, this is just a basic diagram showing you to plug it into a PCI Express slot, turn your computer on, use the CD, and then they show it going to, of course, a trendnet switch. And then on the back, we've got uh, a couple of declarations and certifications in English and Spanish, although our instructions only came in English, so I don't know why they bothered having the declarations multilingual. Um, the warranty is even English, Spanish, German, and it looks like French. So that's really all there is to it. There's not a whole ton to say. This is just going to be a plug and play if you're using uh, the latest version of Windows 10. Um, we're going to go ahead and throw it in a computer and put it through its paces. We'll run some uh, iPerf runs through it. We have a Mikrotix, which we're going to be using for that testing. Um, that is the CRS32824P. Um, and we'll have more on that switch later. Needless to say, it's overkill for a home network, but it is probably my favorite piece of gear. I'm going to put all this back so I don't lose anything. And that's really all there is to the TEG 10 GECTX. Um, thank you for watching. And go ahead and check out some of our other unboxing videos or reviews.